Nunca vi na capa, é se eu nunca vi na capa Nunca vi na capa, é se eu nunca vi na capa Three lemons. Okay, well, what my baby wants, my baby gets. No, but I, I wanted 12. Baby wanted 12. Why, why do you want 12? Because I'm making a 12 lemon centerpiece. So no one's even going to eat the lemons? You're, you're, you're suggesting to me that these are just show lemons? After two years together, Gary and Brooke have reached a critical point in their relationship. Fine, I'll help you do the dishes. No, that's not what I want. You just said that you want me to help you do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. Why would I want to do dishes? <laughs> I'm done. You're a little neurotic. You had your window with Cassie and you doomed it. She put you in the friend zone. We're all gonna leave and she's gonna like do the deed with this big baster. Shouldn't that be cleaned or something? I'm messing with you! Yeah, but you so knocked that funny. off. Molly, I hate it when you drink. Yeah. You lose total control. Guess what? We are moving back to New York. Sweetie, this is Uncle Wally. Hi. Hi, Sebastian. I think I have cyclothyme disorder. Okay, was I not clear about WebMD? Whoa! Tell her the truth. Well, let me practice. You'd be her. Oh, good. Okay, hold on. Anyways, um, I, I wear this fake wedding ring. You're a pig. I, uh... Just tell her you're getting a divorce. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I want to create the illusion I had a hot first wife. Not you know this. It's... Okay, come on, let's go. Is that her? Hello, boring. Why are you wearing it? I'm just uh, playing the part. I give you my blessing. I have to tweet to all my friends. <laughs> oh, gosh, I forgot. You're 15. Ow! Did you just kick me? No. Did you? Did you kicked her? Why? ever feel like we're going against nature by not getting married? No. Going against nature is like the cat who suckled that monkey. I think I figured it out. He is not interested. A 10% handling fee. Oh, is that what you called it? Just for a price of matinee, because that's the difference between five or ten bucks, man. Never mind. I bet you twenty dollars that I can kiss you without ever touching your lips. Kiss me. Just follow me. They just pushed their way. We have to go to the place. You can't. He threatened she'll take my daughter. Most people call me Will, except for my mom, who calls me... Dumplin', I can't be late. This cannot exactly drive itself. Being a bit of a celebrity around here meant that she was too busy for me. You've got a hole in your left, by the way. <gasps> what? Oh, she didn't listen to me. Working to five, what a way to make this must be your daughter. That's my daughter's best friend. This is my daughter, Willa Dean. Wow. Okay. And that's when I decided enough was enough. I know that look. What's going on? I think I'm gonna sign up for the pageant. So how was work this evening, neighbor? I need a lap dance, table five. Don't get too close. The guy smells like asparagus pee and he's got a hook hand. <sighs> You're not a neighbor. You're a pot dealer. I have a smidge of marijuana. We can clean all American family. From rags to riches, the bag and ditches. This is my son, Kenny Miller, and my lovely daughter, Casey. Casey? Jesus. Is part of your plan? You folks can make camp with the Fitzgeralds tonight. When you've been married as long as we have, you're looking to spice things up a bit. I've never touched another woman before. I would be okay with that. This Christmas, get ready for a surprise. One, two, three. Oh! They're adorable. Hi, puppy. Marley, this is our house. And now it's yours. Marley, you can't go through a screen door. <laughs> <laughs> Marley! 
It's just like a little kid, except no fur here. That's not a dog. That is evil with a dog face. Uh, yep. You get an answering machine, and then went back and had the phone for dessert. A dog can only have one master. Which one of you has the most authority in your relationship? I made a list, and then I checked on the internet to see if they were different in Mexico. This is a lot. If I just date the small city, I think you have big problems. Receptivo. How's it going? I'm doing really well. I want you to verbalize to Nina how her suicide affected you. She jumped off the freeway overpass, landed on a flatbed truck heading to Mexico. Got your flair. Well, I have 15, 15 pieces on. 15 is the minimum. Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flair on today. <laughs> and a terrific smile. And need to escape. I don't like my job, and I don't think I'm going to go anymore. One of these days, I, I, I just I just kick this piece of... I'm thinking now it might be more fun to just get fired. And I've always wondered what that would take. Oh, Peter, listen. Uh, 